Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. Eric here. And this is, I think, 7th now? I'm not sure. I lost count. Last time, the official one was technically the uh, the Call of Duty one. And uh, this will be our... Well, we recorded previously, but I, I screwed up that one and there's no audio recorded, so we have to record it again. And uh, that one was supposed to be a quick one, but I, I looked at the videos and they were combined because it was three separate videos, but... Combined, it was like uh, over an hour, an hour 20, which was like one of our longest ones. So we'll keep it quick. Just for this, uh, uh, let's get rid of the admin stuff at the beginning. We are holding a giveaway at uh, New Year's giveaway while we are at CES. We will be at CES next week starting, I think, when does CES officially start? January 7th? Uh, well, we're going to be there early. I think it doesn't officially start till the 8th, but we yeah. got all the launch and kickoff <clears throat> crap we're doing. Yeah, we're definitely going to be there, and we will be holding a giveaway as well during the new year. So just stay tuned. Go to HighTechLegion.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, YouTube.com slash HighTechLegion, and Facebook, uh, Facebook.com slash HTL Reviews to uh, keep in touch and see the update coverage that we're going to hold. And this year, this episode is our end of the year episode. Uh, this will be, of course, uh, discussing the games that came out, all the games that uh, we both loved and hated. At the same time, so it will be boring if it's just games we loved. So, uh, we'll start with uh, what's what's. Uh, let's start with a good. What, what's what's uh, Eric's favorite games of last year, 2012? My, my, my game of the year is Mass Effect Three. That's my game. Starting of the with year. the game of the year, not even. Yeah. Uh, but I thought you hated the ending. What happened with that? Well, no, it, they changed it. They they gave a, they let you do a download later on, and and uh, you were able to you see a different ending. But so, the, the, the ending wasn't much different. It was just different options, right? When they fixed it? I don't know. I can't remember anymore. If it, I, I mean, you got cutscenes, and, you know, it actually gave a story to what happens a little yeah. bit later, you know? Because before, they just really ended it abruptly. It was, it was a palette swap, a palette swap, basically. Just That's what, yeah. all what happened, yeah. They changed, the, they changed it. You, it was, you were either green or blue or red. <laughs> yeah, it was purple and red. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's all the changes. Yeah, it was all different in the first one. Yeah. It's one of the yeah. most, one of the controversies this year. There's, there seems to be plenty this year uh, in terms of games, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't even know what my game of the year was. I, I thought it was going to be Assassin's Creed Three because I saw it and it looked interesting. And compared, I played a little bit of Assassin's Creed Two because of the, the, there's just the amount of detail in that game. But I played Three and it was a little too arcadey. It was it was definitely the weakest of the series. I actually played the entire series. Uh, when we when we talked previously, when we previously recorded this one, I didn't finish. I didn't play Assassin's Creed all, uh, two and Assassin's Creed one yet, but I've actually played them. And three is definitely the weakest. It's really annoying because every time you meet somebody named Benjamin, you know it's gonna be Benjamin Franklin. Whenever you meet yeah. somebody named Betsy, it's gonna be Be uh, Betty, basically Betty Ross. It's one of those ridiculous. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in everywhere. Every, everybody needs some kind of public, you know, big figure that's... Yeah. Be, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the, the controls are... are uh, they're a little bit better in compared, I would say, to the previous Assassin's Creed 3, but it's still clunky uh, compared to something like, uh, uh, like Batman. That was probably the smoothest kind of combat system I've ever played. And mm -hmm. there's lots of games that tried to copy that this year. Uh, Sleeping Dog tried to copy it. Uh, they A little bit better than Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3, almost the same. But uh, uh, definitely not as good as I thought it would be. But still, still all right. <laughs> I don't regret it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm not. I jumped off the Assassin's Creed bandwagon when they introduced aliens. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like uh, Indiana Jones four or five, whatever that last yeah. one with yeah, aliens. Yeah, okay, the Templars <laughs> are being controlled by aliens now. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was horrible. I was like, uh, uh, what's his name? As Harrison Ford didn't even want to say that line. He's like, oh, their gift was knowledge. He didn't even want to say that line. It was so stupid. Uh, well, anyway, speaking of, since Assassin's Creed 3 isn't my game of the year, it is actually uh, Walking Dead. I was surprised that I I, I, I I was cynical about it at first, but in terms of we're, we're all, we all bag on Call of Duty, all those... Uh, rail-based games that are, are kind of have this uh, played out narrative uh, well the, the story is weak to begin with but they kind of force you to go into this uh, this, this rail-based narrative gameplay but uh, Walking Dead kind of takes that genre to a different level takes the narrative mm -hmm. to a different level where you there's actually consequences and it, it's actually heartfelt it's the first zombie game where you, you can actually well even zombie movie where 
you can there's actually a heart in it you know there's a yeah, there's we feeling. To choose who lives and die in a lot of situations yeah you know? yeah do you want to save the older guy or the kid do you want to save the <laughs> yeah. reporter Sophie's chick or choice like the hacker you know computer guy you know? yeah like, <laughs> you get to choose. You get to make decisions, and it affects the outcomes. It's a choose-your-own-adventure, you know. But you know, it's simpler. But you follow the story almost like a movie. You know? Yeah, it's simple and effective. That's that's all. That's that. That's the smart thing about the game. That's why it's it earns my top, uh, my game of the year. And uh, I don't know. Uh, let's alternate. What's your what, any game that disappointed you this year? Uh, disappointed me the most. Uh, we talked about it before when we had hardware difficulties. Diablo three. <laughs> <laughs> I think even Blizzard fanboys hated that that uh, that mm-hmm. uh, what happened to Diablo three. Yeah, yeah, you know Diablo three. Basically, take Diablo two, update the graphics. That's all it was. <laughs> <laughs> take that one out of the equation, like the old shitty guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They they probably were like, yeah. Oh, I forgot. We have, we have to make Diablo three, and they just they just did a little. They they just signed one guy on it. It's gonna sell anyway, cause just because of the strength of the the name. That's a problem with franchises to begin with. Uh. In terms of, I think they they Z, they Z the zombie. Yeah. Get, that's that's one. That's a polar opposite of the uh, of the uh, Walking Dead series. And it's essentially they haven't delivered anything they promised, and uh, that's that was that disappointed a lot of people. <laughs> and it's yeah. not even worth talking. Yeah. <laughs> they, you know, their their websites, you know, deleting everything anyone says bad about it in their forums and banning <laughs> yeah. people. You, you know, know you know you have you, you know you have problems like when you start typing the name now on Google, the first three pages are people complaining about it. That's how you find out if the product is bad or not. Because mm-hmm, <laughs> the mm-hmm. first three pages will be people complaining about how horrible it is. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I I don't know anything. I was I wasn't really disappointed with Mass Effect 3's ending. I enjoyed that game. Kind of like Assassin's Creed 3, it was a little too arcadey compared to the previous two ones, but I guess they kind of refined it. But the, the lore is still there. The storyline is still pretty in, engrossing. And mm-hmm. I'm not sure if they're... Are they going to continue with Mass Effect 4? They can't possibly yeah. just end it there. Well, they, they left it open-ended, you know, at the, but you never know. They could they can go on tangents with other people's stories, yeah. <laughs> you know, branch off and... You know. I'm sure they'll milk it a little bit more. <laughs> a lot. There's some deaths there that would kind of didn't make sense. For it it kind of came out of nowhere. Well, we will spoil it. People complain. I mean, <laughs> it's a year old game. If you haven't played Mass Effect Three, that's kind of on you. But uh, Tali's mm-hmm. death was kind of weird uh, when you make that decision in part of the game where she just commits suicide. You, well, see, I never got that one. I actually you never got that one. Go back and replay it and like pick the shittiest option possible <laughs> to get her to do that. Like if you normal, yeah like, if you basically how, how i normally played it she always like stayed with me she never killed herself yeah yeah uh if you help the robot the what i forgot what's what's the uh what's the synthetics the the geth if you help, help the geth yeah, she yeah. will kill herself yeah it's yeah. is, it's is one of that but that's uh, what i did i helped the geth and, and she's still stuck with so me then, there's some other decision you uh, make some other yeah, yeah probably herself uh, I, I, <laughs> yeah, my, I was surprised. Like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, ah, she yeah. just, she just died. Ah, that was weird. And I, uh, it's like one of those decisions back at the beginning when you start the campaign when you like side with like the captain or whatever or something like that. Yeah, I probably yeah. I, her up because I, I I played it two times and I, I I played it you know all good and all shitty. And each time, you know, one time I sided with Geth, the other time I sided with the, um, whatever the fuck are you called, Solarian, or no. Uh, I, I can't even remember. Know. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, kind of, it's kind of like. I sided with them, and she still stayed with me. She didn't kill herself. It yeah. wasn't until, <laughs> I don't know, I made some stupid decision that third time I played it through, and then she finally committed. Because I kept reading that she was, she killed herself, and everybody was pissed, and I was like, I never got that. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're probably the only one there. <laughs> Because, I, because when she kills herself, you get that picture, you know? And yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Like that big controversy of the picture that was just, you know, some stupid, you know, um, stock image that they just, like, photo, they paint, you know, used MS Paint. They didn't even use photos. <laughs> yeah, it just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. And that was weird. That was, And I think that was right after a boss battle, too, so you really don't expect it. Like, uh it is like uh, I think that's the that's like well uh, that's one of where you were in the I, I it was in Tachanka or some other desert planet I can't remember anymore. It's been yeah. a year. There's plenty of hours spent in the game. 
Oh, uh, let's go back to uh, other good good things. Uh, Planet Side Two. I know you you have a, you're a fan of Planet Side Two. Yeah, I have a lot of hours in that game right now. <laughs> I gotta I gotta download it. It's it's a free to play game, and uh, it reminds me. It reminds me a lot of Tribes Two from like. Uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago now I can't remember when, when was Tribes 2 that was that was a really fun game and this this looks like a lot of people are raving about this one too well I, I like the fact that you know it, it gives you the same it's not as epic as Planet Side 1 was where like you know you mounted up this huge army and you know you flew to the continent and then you dropped down and like you know it was a huge battle pretty much because it's free to play there's a lot yeah, of people yeah. and it's really quick it's really fast paced and you don't have to be in a squad you can just run around soloing and stuff <laughs> but uh, the way that they do the free to play model I like because the only things that cost money are stupid shit you know like yeah, uh, yeah. materialistic like skins and things for your for your custom vehicle. colors yeah there's no there's no imbalance weapons or stuff like that yeah and XP boosts and stuff those are the only things that cost station cash that you can't get with their cert point system otherwise if you actually play the game and earn cert points and stuff you can get, get you can get weapons you can get all the same weapons anyone else gets it's just if you want to get them faster pay a little cash yeah that, that's a great thing about it and also uh another game i i, I this technically that's why this why this 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 didn't make my uh, my game of the year because technically it didn't come out this year it came out last year but the enhanced edition came out uh, I believe uh, early 2012, uh, Witcher 2, uh, which is one of the easily say I would say it is uh, worth every penny. This game, it's it's uh, thirty dollars on Amazon. I got it for twenty actually in Walmart, and it's it's a physical copy, and you get everything. You get a bonus uh, uh, content, plenty of that. You get the manual, you get everything, you get an extra package, and it is the lore. It's easy to get into. You, people expect uh, sword and sorcery games to be kind of have like a, a deep lore that they can't really get into in one setting but this one uh, gets you pretty fast and the graphics is very good for dx9 games one of my uh, mm. most recommended game of the year definitely overlooked and but this uh, was another game it was you know, you know it's an rpg pretty much but you know third person like mass effect type game where yeah. your decisions affect the outcomes there's multiple endings that you can get and you know it's more grittier you know you just naked chicks and you can be gay yeah if you want well it is uh, yeah it is european <laughs> that's the, that's the advantage of having european developers because they don't have as much qualms as americans in terms of you know having nudity having uh, other adult content in there if it was mass mm -hmm. effect you know the sex scene in mass effect was pretty damn tame but you know a lot of people were up in arms about it <laughs> but i think what was what was that one that had uh, had like the that he had gay sex that that was one of the uh, two years ago that was a controversy i can't oh, even remember I, what that one yeah, was I, mean, I don't I, remember yeah, I think that was even that was a European developer as well. So that's probably. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know. Any other games you like this year? Uh, I'm still playing Madden, even though the season's over. I don't know yeah. if they're keeping the Ultimate Team updated uh, because that was my thing. I like doing the card Ultimate Team thing where you build the team, and they had, they kept you know going with each week, and now they've kind of fallen off a little bit. So we'll see. I'm sure as soon as the Super Bowls. <laughs> coming up, so a lot of big things on that. You know, yeah, to yeah. Figure out what to do in the off season until the next Madden comes out. Yeah. Well, actually, I still play uh, Skyrim. It's been two years. Like I, I finally have a, uh, I have my bard slash mage character up to one level one hundred in all her spells now. Yeah, uh, I maxed them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's like. Uh, my my, uh, she's Taylor Swift basically because I got that, uh, that 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 hair package and it just happens that the hair looks kind of like what I was like okay just might as well make a Taylor Swift character, she's like a mm -hmm. bard mage. <laughs> I love that the game is so interesting after this. I I'm finally gonna uh, get that character and that was my that'll be my last uh, last. Uh, I finally played every single aspect of that game, played mm -hmm. it to the death, <laughs> and it was definitely worth it. it took two years but. Uh, hopefully the next Obsidian game will be coming out next year. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. I mean Obsidian. Uh, I'm thinking Bethesda. Obsidian is Kotor, right? I can't remember which deal. I'm getting my my developer screwed up. Mm -hmm. But in yeah, terms of uh, upcoming games, anything you're looking forward to 2013? Mm, anything original. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tired of sequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sequels or, or prequels. prequels. Yeah. They're doing now, you know. 
Yeah, you know, another Call of Duty is going to be out. There's yeah. going to be another, all that shit. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking for originality. Yeah, and the next, uh, the I mean, yeah, even the most anticipated right now is Tomb Raider, the prequel. Mm-hmm. And I was, I don't know, it's, it looks good, but it, the preview has been up for like a year or two. So I don't know if the hype seems to have died down already. So I don't know why they keep on delaying it, but it's uh, it should come out in 2013. And uh, I don't mm-hmm. any other games. I, I think there's a... I think there's, there might be a Star Trek game coming out. I've heard a little bit about that, but nothing yet. Because well, they want to... Dead Space 3 is supposed to come out. Yeah. Um, uh, Crisis 3 is supposed to come out next year. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Crisis 3, yeah. Crisis 3. I think uh, StarCraft is supposed to have something you know, on top of it. The new Resident Evil has another one coming out, I think. For... Valve has a project that uh, I think... Uh, people are saying earlier that it's going to be episode three, but I don't. I don't think so. I don't think they're even planning an episode three at all. Half Life yeah. episode three, uh, three. I don't know. There might Black, be a new Black one. Shock supposed to come out next year. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I, yeah. Again, because <laughs> I thought that it was supposed to come out like Christmas time, <laughs> and then they delayed it. I never got into Bioshock as much as people. A lot of people did. I, I don't know. I just. Did you really love Bioshock? I, Bioshock Two was yeah. bad too. It wasn't. Uh... I mean, I, I was into I was into Bioshock One, Bioshock Two, not so much. Yeah, uh, the graphics like... were a huge dip uh, in terms of uh, just looking at just when I bought it. The, the first few minutes was like the you can see the lower textures, the mm. a lot of graphics were not as good. Plus, I don't know. I just didn't like. I never liked the first one because it looked a lot. It looked like it borrowed a lot of elements from Fallout. With the perk system and the, 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 I don't know. I never I got into it. I think they're supposed to be doing an Elder Scrolls Online, too. That's yeah, that, yeah, I heard about that. That yeah, should be good. Cool. <laughs> I hope you can get to each province, like the, just yeah, how big that game is. Don't they have a hack for Skyrim on the PC where you can kind of online play with other people? Yeah, but it's like, uh, I don't think you can do anything. People just stand around, basically. Yeah, <laughs> You know, you can just see it and say hi. <laughs> yeah, I, hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be good. If it's gonna be a free-to-play model, I, I, I definitely play it. There's mm-hmm. no way I'm subscribing to it. Just because you can drop off anytime, and I hate, I hate wasting money if I can't, if I can't play it. Although I played a lot of games that I, I, I haven't really played. That's why this year, the last two weeks, all, all I've been doing is playing my backlog. I've been playing uh, Hitman Absolution and uh, Sleeping Dogs, both good games. Um, Hitman Absolution, great graphics. It's I know it's hard to insist but a lot of people have been having problems playing that game because they don't have a, an up-to-date system, but it's definitely taxing with the new engine. But the gameplay, I love stealth games, and this one definitely delivers. It was worth the money. And Sleeping Dogs, a little bit shorter, but uh, it's it's fun too. But uh, and uh, great, it, it made me long for GTA. The next GTA <laughs> is also coming out. Uh, we've seen a previous already. It's GTA Five. I can't even remember. Yeah, yeah, that one didn't did it come out already? Or no, yeah. not yet. There's been previews yeah. all over. The hype has been yeah. There's been oh, plenty yeah. of hype they're building. I think it's coming out summer. Uh, I'm th- the problem is that there has been rumored that there probably won't be a PC port. At least when it comes out until probably 2014, so that that might be a problem for us. Yeah. Well, whatever. I, I'll still buy it on the Xbox. Yeah, thing. yeah. I love the GTA series. I, yeah. I just, yeah, they had a sale over Christmas for the phone. I got the GTA um, uh, 3 for the phone, the 10th anniversary edition. So <laughs> now I'm playing that on my phone while I'm at work, you know, nostalgic. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, any uh, mobile games you've been playing this year? I know every, I know the uh, what's that uh, Tiger Zone game? The Avengers game has been pretty big this year. Uh, yeah. That was one I think one of the most popular one at TigerZone.com. The the uh, well because everybody wants to play as Hulk. Everyone wants a Hulk smash, but you get to play as uh, I think the first episode. There you go. He's got, got Avengers, Dead Space, Dead Trigger, GTA Three, Minecraft. This Nova Three game from uh, GameLoft, and then. Uh, that shadow gun dead zone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, I downgraded because it had a problem with Jelly Bean, so oh, yeah. I actually reflashed it downgraded <laughs> just to play it. And it. It's actually really fun. It's super fun <laughs> to play. That's that's hardcore gaming. You have to downgrade just to play it, just just, just to play that. Well, and 
a lot of bugs. I mean, half those games are super buggy with Java. Yeah, so that's I weird. I was like, screw it. I want everything to work, so I'll just downgrade it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've, maybe the amount of developers, they don't have as much compared to like console where they have like, you know, huge teams. I don't mm. know how they how they work, how, how big the teams are that develop a mobile game compared to that. I, I don't see it any differently. I don't, I don't see why it would be any different than console games. Mm. And uh, speaking of consoles, I think, is the next, next cycle coming out next year? I know for sure that AMD has secured the graphics, uh, GPU for both the next Xbox and the PlayStation, right? Uh, hopefully. I mean, that's what they've been talking about. And, you know, maybe at CES, you know, we'll see a glimpse of, like, the 720 or something. That'd be nice. Yeah. And also, another definitely a new trend we're seeing uh, blew up this year, the 4K display. So, we'll probably be seeing a lot of that. Uh, right now, I mean, everybody has been uh, clamoring for higher uh, higher resolution uh, monitors 2560 by 1440 right now what they want they're pushing for that to be the standard in laptops and as it should be i mean we're stuck in 1920 by 1080 and there have been people i mean there was that uh that uh that class action lawsuit came out like what two years ago a year ago about the price fixing issue and uh, these yeah. companies are kind of conspiring to kind of hold back the technology and drive the price up after that's uh, that's gone now the price is really low I mean, miners are pretty affordable now. You can get it for just over a hundred bucks, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Yeah, you know, everybody is wondering why. Oh, why? Why can I get a sixty-inch TV now for under a thousand dollars? Yeah, well, because that's how much it's really supposed to cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mean, my my TV, I have a fifty-two inch, and that was what three thousand bucks, three five hundred. But yeah. the next year, when after that thing came out, it was like the next model was only like a thousand five hundred. It was like half, literally half, <laughs> and now there's a lot of smart TVs. There's you know Netflix is integrated. You don't need to get uh, an extra device. You don't need to get uh, just plenty of everything has Wi-Fi now. I mean, my sister just bought a TV and it's got built-in Wi-Fi. There's Skype mm-hmm. in it. There's Facebook. It's everything is on it. It's pretty much pretty amazing. And it's pretty cheap too now too. Yeah, that, my, one of my buddies at work has one of those smart TVs where he can integrate anything into it. And- the Wi-Fi, he didn't get the one that had it built in, but he bought, like, a Blu-ray player that uh, was, a, it, you know, Samsung or whatever, it paired together with it, and it had the Wi-Fi built in. Yeah, it's a good thing about Samsung and LG. They they throw in a lot of good apps. Uh, my main TV is a Sony, and there's a problem with Sony is that they, they it didn't, well, it, it this this uh, TV came out just at the eve of that, just before smart TV became big, and it didn't really have, it had an option to attach a, uh, you can connect an Ethernet cable, but it didn't have Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi set was separate, and you have to pay a hundred dollars just to, for this USB Wi-Fi adapter that only works on a Sony TV, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so I basically just use a uh, a an old WRTG 54G uh, Linksys router. That I turned mm-hmm. into a bridge and just connect it through that, and I use I use that for Netflix uh, on the TV, but. It's ridiculous that there's companies charging Sony, I think, still charging hundred dollars for a basically a ten dollar USB stick. Yeah, USB <laughs> Wi-Fi adapter. Yeah, 10 bucks, ridiculous. Yeah, new egg on sale. Yeah, the, those those. Yes, me and Wade will hit up. We'll get that. We'll get to see that Mitsubishi TV. It's like twenty five thousand dollars. It's like. 120 inches or something like that. 4K yeah, I know. I heard Jimmy Kimmel has that. He has like 100 and 107 inch, 117 inch in his house. Yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> We'll, we'll try and hit that one up when we're on the floor. I know. I, 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 won't, be able, I won't be able to see because I'm, 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 I'm in the suite, so they don't have the TVs there. But you guys will definitely. And I know Wade is participating in this year's uh, – Tiger Direct charity PC race. I know last year they, they, they didn't have it, but the year before, how was your experience? I know you competed for High Tech Legion uh, two years A before. A lot of little screws, just, you know, <laughs> both screws suck. <laughs> <laughs> and it and was... It's, it's kind of dumb, too, just because they don't, you don't build a full PC. You, you know, motherboard's already in there and everything. The um, power supply is already there and wired and everything. Literally, all you do is you stick a video card in, you stick the ODD in, you screw down the hard drive, and you just you make sure it boots. That's yeah, nice. yeah. I mean, compared to previous charity PC races, it was it was a lot simpler. But I saw that video. That was weird. 
I go. I saw mm-hmm. that all the ones when they were really putting in the car, putting on the power supply, putting on. You should you should start by putting in the 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 the. The CPU, or maybe what happened was probably since these these systems were going to charity, what happened was probably that people rushed into it and it damaged the system. They broke it. They broke <laughs> and, it or yeah, and the orphans were like having problems with BSODs with their system, just because the guy, the geek building it and doing the charity race was like slamming the pins. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's probably it. And uh, I just you know didn't plug the power supply in correctly or something and blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I don't know who's gonna host it. It was I think it was Kevin Pollock when it, who hosted uh, your guys' uh, yeah, event, right? He sucked. He was horrible. <laughs> he was horrible because he, you know, he's trying to joke and stuff, but he doesn't get like I guess nerd culture. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a little too. Uh, yeah, he's too old for that. He needs somebody fresh. So he's trying to rip jokes and he's basically trying to heckle heckle nerds in a big room of nerds, and he doesn't really know what he's talking about. So you know. It's, <laughs> It was kind of stupid. It was really yeah, bad. Yeah. I need to get somebody that actually knows, you know, the culture, you know. Yeah, like there's, there's plenty. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, who's that? Uh, there's a there's a really good comedian. He's a Pakistani. Uh, he's he has he has a gaming website. Yeah, uh, Kumail Nanjani is a very funny yeah, guy. Yeah. He, he has like a yeah, video. He has a video gamer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I listen to their, their podcast. It's yeah. Really I like them. I like I like his stuff. I, I haven't seen him uh, live stand up yet. He was just in Madison over here like a couple months ago. He's very fast. Yeah, he's he's very qu- yeah. He, I I love that. Yeah, I love him. He's very witty. That that's what's good. That's what you need for a host and somebody who gets gaming and and kind of tech culture. Somebody young, not like Kevin Pollack. He's you know he did you can you probably tell that you didn't want to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he was just hitting an I Justine the entire time during that. Uh, I saw your video. <laughs> I think he just took his check and ran. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what else? CS uh, this year. I'll be bringing. Uh, I'll bring my camera. I have my. Uh, you have your gear ready. Oh yeah, I just I'm doing laundry right now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even packed. I, Paul was like, "Oh, you don't need to pack." I'm like, yeah, because yeah, if I fucking forget something, that's the, <laughs> that's yeah. gonna be a problem. Because I'll be too busy tomorrow. I have guests tomorrow, and uh, I got I I'm actually just finishing everything. I haven't even gone to the bank and just I need to exchange the uh, I, I need to change U.S. dollars because I don't want to do it at the airport. <laughs> Too much because the lineup usually there is pretty long, especially during CES. There's lots of people running there. Mm-hmm. The, oh, just checking. Did you? Did, we didn't get a card for the CES thing, right? We usually get like a credit card thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess they're not doing it this year. Okay, that's know. good. I was I thought that uh, I didn't come with one, so I'll have a, <laughs> just checking that I have everything ready. I got it. Find my my envelope. I forgot where I put it. Oops. Yeah, I have it. I have it kept. I, I probably won't even need the uh, these other ones. You can double dip on the coupons. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna be on the floor. You yeah. Use those coupons to get like the lunch and shit like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, the lineup will be crazy though. Yeah. So there you, you go. Found it. Awesome. Yeah, oh. it so just pause that if you wanna wanna look at the uh, Eric's address. <laughs> Send him <a> eight mail. <laughs> I need, I, need some good shit. I, I need stuff. <laughs> I know I got a backlog of reviews. So I'm actually just rushing to test these. Not, not. I don't. I haven't written anything in two weeks. And it's driving me nuts because once you stop writing for a bit, you, you, your your brain kind of takes a takes a break too. So I'm, 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 just, I'm doing all this networking shit now. And yeah. Like, a lot of these cards are integrated cards, so. Uh, the you know PCIe card, so I have to fucking move my whole tower and my whole monitor. <laughs> you know, I like to do these distance <laughs> tests. It's like, come on. I know. I've I've uh, right. I, I've well, I'm not gonna go into details just because Paul gets uh, gets his panties in a twist with <laughs> about these things, but it's going It's I, I basically just have coolers and uh, and drives, so uh, just repetitive testing again and again, verifying mm. and just making sure it runs before I leave. I, I want to finish all the testing for leaving and just write them uh, when, when, once we come back or write it at the hotel or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're definitely promising you a lot more updates this year compared to last year. Just because there really isn't time to update. Uh, I think we should we should, uh, we should should be able to do a lot more this year. Uh, we have mm-hmm. our video. We have the floor video. We'll, we didn't have floor coverage last year. 
because of, you know, technical difficulties. <laughs> Those are names of people, technical and difficulty. I don't know. I don't know but, if they're really technical difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, old men difficulties. <laughs> That's why this year Eric himself is going to be there. He can't possibly screw that bad. <laughs> If you do so, he'll he'll definitely have footage this year, and he'll he'll be there talking to people, take, talking to booth babes because I don't think they have booth babes in in uh, suites anymore. So he'll be there down there. Mm-hmm. It's funny because I was looking actually at old CES photos from other websites from two thousand and like two thousand six and onward, and there some of the girls are still the same booth babes from when la- we came last year. It's like, wow, you've been doing this for... Until when are you going to do this? Until they it's tell you, like... just work for the company. It's like one yeah. of the receptionists that's just getting dressed up for the event. You know? Yeah, she gets bonus for that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think mean, really weird when once they tap her, the show's like, ah, you're not hot anymore. Sorry, uh, that's horrible. <laughs> They've been trying to kill off that part, the the uh, the Booth Bay part of CES for, for the last few years. But for some reason, if you look at the trade shows in Europe, they, they've been ramping it up. The South American was definitely. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm looking at uh, Thermal Takes, uh, Rep, uh, Ramson's uh, Facebook, and it's all basically every Thermal Take uh, thing from South America is basically a hot booth. Babe. Yeah, yeah. In Hong Kong as well, they have a lot of, yeah, they have a lot. They, the booth babe culture is not going to die there anytime soon. Yeah, so it's an Asian thing. You know, the yeah. Asians like the women, so... That's what we should do. Uh, we should uh, start attending those those international ones too next year. Once we once we sufficiently grow, so guys, keep on clicking on those banners. Yeah, we'll we don't make any. Taiwan or whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be interesting. Or at least Germany. What's the uh, Gamescom? What else in Germany? Computex right. in Germany. No, Computex. Computex. Oh, that's Taipei, the one that's yeah. in Taiwan. Yeah, right? yeah. What's the one in Germany? There's one right after this one, like two months. I don't remember. Not uh, Gamescon is their big gaming thing, and then it's well, well, well I, I, I don't know. My brain's fried right now. Mm-hmm. Would that be, and then yeah. I know. Are, are you guys attending PAX? I know Wade is set on. He attends PAX all the time. I wanted to go, but it's one of those where that the, the when is. When PAX is really screwed up with like work and stuff, so yeah, I can't, I can't go to that one. I want to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to travel for gaming back when I was younger, about ten years ago, with doing Street Fighter tournaments. And well, uh, let's just say that uh, those should have deodorant sponsorships. That's because mm-hmm. a guy is locked in a room playing for hours a day. It's not very, not very. That doesn't smell very good. Mm-hmm. I guess now as a, people are more sensitive. There's a lot more female players now to competing compared to back then. I think it's more a lot more, a lot more open now. It's not. Uh, well, speaking mm-hmm. of that, let's, let's let's go back to uh, kind of the the controversies that came out this year. There was that uh, Lara Croft thing. Speaking of females, that there was supposed to be a rape scene and they removed the rape scene. I don't know what what what, what what's up with that. People are up in arms about a lot of things about gaming. You know, it, when it comes to video games, if, if it's anything that isn't PC, there's always going to be some people complaining about it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, this has been happening since Doom. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, there's the thing, because now we are, this is the point where you're, you're a parent now, and when, you know, when people are our age who grew up in video games and become parents, and then they, they, uh, that's what would happen is that we have the understanding of gaming and gaming culture that our parents never had so I think I think mm-hmm. we'll see less and less of that eventually about blaming video games for everything just as TV's mm-hmm. not getting blamed as much as b- back at when it was like back in the 50s probably or say mm-hmm. probably Leave it to Beaver was probably getting blamed for something back then uh, yeah, yeah. you always <laughs> have the conservative groups that want to Instead of you know blame the real problem, pick apart the actual issues that are going on. They just yeah. want the superficial, like hey, it's that instead. Yeah, because it's easy to blame. Yeah, it's yeah, a, and it it's the parents actually parenting. No, no, no. It's it's the video. It's the music. It's the video game. Yeah, it's, yeah. Is all is the is the first scapegoat. Well, it's, it's it has been it has toned down a bit, but you know. There are still people out there, and not uh, really. I mean, the the whole Sandy the Sandy Hook thing or yeah, thing, yeah. Uh, and they were blaming. They were trying to blame it on autism. They were trying to blame it on the video games he was playing. They were but I would to say compared to uh, compared to to ten years ago when uh, when uh, uh, 
what was the with the Colorado shooting? Well, that was pretty much that one that triggered everything, and that was pretty much just on the yeah, media. So Doom, Doom and Marilyn Manson. Yeah, Doom and Marilyn Manson. That was the yeah. Yeah, I mean they're they're showing footage footage of Doom again and again on the TV. At least this time we don't see it. You know, mm-hmm. a little bit different, but you know. It's just it's a different climate Let's now. Let's not blame the actual like mental disorders and like the problems these people have. You know. Yeah. The you know it, the assault rifles that are kept in the house. You know those things. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> for hunting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Some people are sensitive about those issues, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> it's funny to talk, talk about those. And there's also uh, the controversy about the, uh, the SEAL team who kind of broke silence for uh, Medal of Honor series. <laughs> A very crappy game to break <laughs> to, to kind of get, get, get fired for, too. It was a horrible game. Don't buy it, by the way. No wonder you're giving it away for free. It's one of those not... Yeah, see, I can't believe that it's even worse than the previous Medal of Honor games. <laughs> it's yeah, just... How realistic does a game really have to be? Yeah. <laughs> it, it is a game. It has to be... There's some, there has to be some elements of fun and interactivity. They forgot mm-hmm. about that, you know. I, I, if I watch drama, I'll watch Zero Dark Thirty. That's probably going to be good, but I'm not going to play oh. Medal of Honor. Spend $60 well, on Medal of Honor. I think it's funny that the bitch, like, okay, like, these SEAL teams may have, like, you know, given more information than they needed to, and then the at the same time, bitch, like, this new movie that came out about, like, Osama bin Laden. No, yeah. that, that isn't as accurate. That isn't... <laughs> it, you know, it's, it's not... It, you know, they got some things wrong in that one. <laughs> That's the thing, because they actually know the people. They, they they actually base it on real characters in that movie. So, But they mm-hmm. can't reveal who the characters are, nor can the actors meet the real people behind it. Mm-hmm. Cause just because they're, so, they're, they're so secretive. I mean, I can't understand the, the, you know, that, that, that fact, but <laughs> it's ridiculous. Also, uh, Homeland. I don't know if you're watching Homeland this season. It's, uh, is that Claire Danes? Uh, okay, you haven't see, been seeing watching that? I don't watch that. I, I don't know. Yeah, the first... The, the only, like, kind of showtime thing I watch yeah, is, like, yeah. Dexter. I watch Dexter. That's about it. Yeah, well, Dexter is a little bit better this season than last year. La- last year was a bit weird for me with the... Uh... With John Lith- oh not John Lith- I didn't yeah. watch season six yet. I, didn't watch I, season I, I six yet? Up. I got I got a, I got up to five because I yeah. stopped at four, and then uh, AT and T Universe had a thing where if you watched it on your phone, you had all the seasons. So I caught up on five, but by the time I got to six, the little thing they had was over. So all that's on there is seven now. So. I'm going to have to boot later or something. <laughs> I watched the six, but then it, right, right after the first episode of the six, I was like, I made a prediction. And I was like, well, if, if if what I think the twist is in this one mm-hmm. is the correct one, I'll stop watching. And it turned out to be correct. And I stopped watching. But luckily, the seventh one is a little bit better. Not as good, as strong as the first one, but uh, still good. But Homeland, uh, the second season is a weird. <laughs> it's they mm-hmm. went into crazy territory. Like they they made it into like a love story, and, and the acting is a little over the top. But uh, wait, why are we talking about the TV game? This isn't TV in the wait, TV. We got, we got off on a well, that well, well, the point was, but well, anyway, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my first plan for this one was going to be a pop culture show anyway. Just because yeah. I, I figured we'll run out of talking about, we'll run out of things to talk about gaming, but that se- doesn't seem to have happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> I but think we'll get more into like mobile and shit. There'll be a lot more to talk about. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely. We'll, we'll also do a, an episode uh, while we are in, in Las Vegas in a hotel room. So we'll have a finally our first live one. No delays for you guys. <laughs> That's so that'll be good, and, uh, and this should be our episode now for uh, I think in the game seven or I think we should just stop numbering it and just title it with something in the yeah. game end of the year whatever yeah end of the year edition or beginning of the year two thousand yeah beginning of the year <laughs> there you go pre C E S yeah two thousand twelve roundup there you go <laughs> and uh, this is Ron signing off Eric and I'll see you uh, when we see you back in Vegas. We'll see Eric there, and we'll have our next episode there. So thanks, you guys, for watching, and see you next time. Bye.